Hi, my name is Carl Flynn from Casala, which is a, an advanced research centre based here in the Dundalk Institute of Technology. What I'm going to show you today is our 3D CAVE. Um, CAVE stands for CAVE Automatic Virtual Environment. Uh, and what this allows us to do is it allows us to interact with any 3D model uh, in a completely immersive environment. So what we'll take a look at uh, is one of the apartments, a model of apartment that we have, one of 16 based here in Dundalk, um, 16 high-tech apartments which are kitted out with uh, nearly 3,000 sensors uh, and we are able to collect that data uh, and we're able to interact with that data and view that data directly here in the cave. So let's go inside and take a look at the cave. So here we are in the 3D cave which you can see here behind me. Um, what we have is we have three wall screens uh, and one floor screen. Um, each of these uses um, a 3D stereo projector behind it so that it can actually, uh, it can actually project full 120 hertz images onto the screens which allows us to see uh, in full 3D. So in order to do that we use these glasses, 3D glasses which we put on uh, and allows us to really get a sense of, of depth and feeling that we're actually there in the environment. Um, in this particular model behind me what we have is we have a mock-up of one of the uh, high-tech apartments uh, which I mentioned earlier. Um, so this allows us to um, simulate being in the apartment and interact with the apartment as we would in the real world. So once I put these glasses on, I'm able to get the full 3D effect and the full depth of actually being there. As well as that, you'll see on the glasses, we have these reflective balls here. Um, and what this allows us to do is it allows us to do head tracking in the cave. Um, along the edges, top edges of the cave, we have uh, 10 infrared cameras um, and they basically detect the position of these reflective balls and adjust the image based on our position within the cave. So if I put the glasses on here and I walk into the cave, you'll see that the image uh, moves based on my position. So I walk forward here, take a second, the image is starting to adjust. And as I walk over here, you'll see the image moves. So that gives us a greater sense of depth and immersion into the environment. As well as that, as I mentioned, uh, because these are 3D glasses, I'm getting the full 3D effect and can really get a sense of depth and as if I can actually go out and touch objects in, in the cave. Um, as well as that, we're also using, in this particular case, we're using a pretty standard uh, joystick controller here. Again, we've got the three reflective balls, which again allows us to track uh, the subject and the environment if we wish to do so. In this particular case, we're not doing that. Uh, we're just using it as, uh, as a navigation tool. And this allows us just to navigate around the apartment. Um, so for example, here if I just press forward on the joystick, I can actually go forward and start navigating around the apartment uh, as if I was really there. Um, one of the other things that I want to show you um, with this is I talked about the sensors that we had in the apartments. Um, so in this particular model here, um, we actually have uh, implemented some of those sensors into this particular model. So for example, if I walk into the hallway, which I'll demonstrate now, I'll put the 3D goggles on, I go in, uh, and you'll see that there's some red markings on the walls which indicate a sensor. When I walk underneath that uh, red marking, it will set off a trigger which will actually display information about the, um, that particular sensor that's uh, in the real world. So we'll get a clock plot of the data which will show us the activity for that particular sensor in a real apartment. So I'll put on my 3D goggles, I walk into the cave, and I'm going to aim for this sensor here which is in the hallway. And when I do, hallway PIR sensor data. You can see here what it's generating is it's generating a clock plot of the data that's been collected for a particular sensor in one of the high tech apartments. Uh, and what this clock plot represents is it represents the activity in that hallway of an apartment, um, both the daytime and nighttime activity over the period of six months. Um, so you'll notice towards the left side of the clock plot, you'll have a lot of activity, a lot of um, green and uh, blue colorings, which shows the daytime activity. 
And you also see that on the right hand side, uh, there's a lot less, which indicates the nighttime activity. And so we have those throughout this virtual environment here. We have these sensors placed throughout, uh, and we can collect this information, show this information, without actually having to be in the environment or in the apartment or just visualizing it through um, standard database queries. Um, so that's pretty much all I'm going to show you for the moment. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we're looking at different controller technologies, uh, in particular, um, how we've actually connected up the uh, Xbox Connect, uh, and we're using that to navigate around the environment um, uh, completely hands-free. So, till next time. Thank you.